So I'm going to make a lot of these books in the Paint, Play, Explore book study or artist understudy that we do using Raymond Sigmund's book. So these are our little mini mark books and um, we end up with these sort of raw signatures and I want to show you how simple it is to make a cover for these books. So the first thing I do is I pick a spread in here that I really like and I scan it and I print it out. Uh, I crop it to eight and a half by 11 so that I end up with a little bit larger image here because I want to cover the front four by four covers. So these books end up being four by four and if you haven't taken this class I encourage you to come and take one or more sessions. We're running another series starting in September but I'm going to cut this out. I don't have to worry about it being perfect because all these edges that I'm cutting are just going to be um, folded over. So this is my front and my back cover. Then I'm going to take some chipboard and I cut this to four and an eighth by four and an eighth just so it's slightly larger than the book itself. I'm going to use glue stick. I like this Yoohoo glue stick and just lather it on so it's nice and gluey. Flip it over. This is the back side of the paper and burnish it down really well. Just rub it down with your hand, the heel of your hand. I'm going to do that on both of them. And then I want to nip the corners. I'm not going straight across and I'm not going right up next to the edge of the cardboard. So I'm just taking a chomp out of each corner, a little bit away from the edge of that chipboard. That will help me make nice mitered corners without extra bulk of paper in there. And the chipboard won't show because I'm not going right up next to the edge. It's sort of magical how that happens. Then again, I'm gonna take glue stick and come around each of the four edges here and then simply fold these pieces in. Since it's just on printer paper, I don't have to worry about using a bone folder and all that kind of stuff to score it like I usually do with, with other papers, my watercolor paper when I do this. There's one cover. Here's the other. Okay, fantastic. There's the front and back cover, and now I want to cover this spine. So I'm using some gaffer's tape. You can use whatever kind of tape you have, but I'm just taking a chunk of the gaffer's tape that's a little bit longer than the book itself. So a little bit longer than four inches. A little crease in that one. That should be fine though. And then I'm going to take the spine, make sure it doesn't stick to you. There we go. I'm going to take this, the spine of the book and place it down centered-ish. This is all going to get covered, so if it's not perfect, it's fine. And I'm going to nip in on either side of the spine, top and bottom. Just give it a little nip there, and then very carefully lift it up. I'm going to fold this piece over so that I have a nice finished edge along the top. Lift it up. Fold this over. This is the only little tedious part of this. Just getting it so that it doesn't stick funky. There we go. Little finished edge, top and bottom. And then I want to snip this excess off. So I can go ahead and fold these down. And I'm going to snip this extra tape off. And gaffer's tape tears nicely, but I'm just going to snip it. And again, this cover is going to get it's going to get covered with these guys, so it doesn't really matter what this looks like. I can do a little better job on that side.
And then I'm going to take some double stick tape and stick this cover on the front here, this cover on the back here. And because I don't have double stick tape right here at my station, I'm going to go ahead and do this with glue stick just so that you can see this is a finished piece. Double stick tape works great. Glue stick is going to be totally adequate for this. So I don't think anything in here is directional. Actually, that's the back. So this is going to be the back of the book. What I don't want to do is have this overlap the spine. So you really want it to be flush with the spine here. And then here's the front. I think I want it to go that way. Again, just glue stick. And flush with the spine, center top to bottom. It's only slightly larger. And there you have a finished book. All the pages, it lays flat. That's what's nice about this. And the spine is covered with some tape. Okay? So that's a good way to finish them.